from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Are you ready? Mother Nature's ready for us. I know that. The first day of winter, and boy, is it coming in late tonight and early tomorrow morning as a lion and it's going to be a cold lion. We're in the 40s right now, but this is a this continues to drop off as these stations as it comes through the weather stations they're dropping off about 25 to 28 degrees in the first 20 minutes. So we're going to probably have something very close to that. This is extremely dense, cold air. It's amazing how cold that is. And it's just because it doesn't happen that often, I guess it's amazing. But it's a short-lived thing, so we're going to look at the bright side. Uh, actual temperature 17 below right now in Bismarck, Pierce, South Dakota. It's not clear. And blizzard-type uh, conditions uh, there. And we're seeing temperatures 19 in Lincoln, 35 Kansas City. And it's not that warm down in the deep south either. So, again, it's a big mass of cold air continuing to sink south and east. And so we have uh, travel advice in the orange colors. The red is winter storm warnings. If you have travel plans any place north or east or northeast, it's rough. And then the magenta colors you see here, those are blizzard warnings. So more blizzard warnings again for the Dakotas. And so it is a mess. And then we have wind chill warnings around Tulsa and travel advisories. So it's going to be a bit of a problem. And so that means that tomorrow morning, primarily for about 4 a.m. to say noon, uh, that'll be our highest probability for road conditions to have some slick spots. And that's why we're going to just say caution. If you have to travel tomorrow morning, try to avoid tomorrow morning if you can at all. And here's why. As this cold front comes through, it's just really not a big deal at midnight. We're in the 30s. And then about 3 o'clock in the morning, if you're northwest, again, I'm sure showing 30s behind the front, but once that front hits, 20 minutes later, you're going to be dropping 20 or 25 degrees. And so it just, bam, and it's there. So we're going to see our highest probability. Uh, we have Alan Crone, Stephen Nairns, our storm trackers are going to be out. So if you do have to travel, they will be letting you know the latest. But we do anticipate just that flash freeze with maybe some freezing drizzle, a little bit of light freezing rain. Just It takes one one hundred to three one hundredths of an inch, and you can have a slick bridge or overpass, and you think it's wet. So just be aware of that for tomorrow morning. If you have to drive. If you don't, just wait. And then any snow or snow showers would be mainly during the daytime hours. Heavier snows would be off to the north and to the east, but there'll be snow and blowing snow, more blowing snow if we have some snow around. These are actual temperatures in the afternoon, so you get the general idea. The amounts of snow, about an inch around Tulsa, would probably cover almost the majority of us. South and west, not much. North and east, you guys have a better chance of maybe two to four inches of snow. And it'll be a powdery snow because it's going to be so cold. And of course, as we said, the wind chills are ridiculous, minus 20 to minus 25. That's why we have the wind chill warnings, not quite as severe if you're south. But this gives you an idea what it's going to look like on the, really tomorrow afternoon about this time. 20 below, 26, 28 below. These are just some serious temperatures. Very deadly if for folks. We talked about the folks that are outside or stuck outside. Make sure you are prepared and can help those that are not as fortunate. As we look on into Friday, afternoon the winds are dying down but it's still miserable so we have thursday and friday well let's be happy though because it's only going to last not very long the wells family every year have an amazing uh, Christmas display in Owasso and uh, this year again I don't know if they're trying to outdo themselves on Sawyer Wells uh, put together a lot of this during the course of the fall season it was awesome for him he was talking about all the things he's put together 44 is the temperature we have a little bit of a wind chill right now not much going on temperatures running in the 40s at this time and as we work our way through the nighttime hours again it's not gonna be bad until that cold front hits then we're in the deep freeze at least on Christmas it transitions better and then next week we have a big thaw I mean we're we're going way above normal, 10, 15, 18 degrees above normal. What in the world is going on? So if you want snow, our best shot is coming up for tomorrow morning. But that comes with maybe some light freezing drizzle to kick it off. And maybe a few flurries on Monday and maybe a few sprinkles on Friday. And then we say hello to 2023. So get ready. 36 at midnight, 15 in the morning. Freezing drizzle is possible. We're talking again about the higher probabilities, about 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. That's the time period. If I didn't have to drive, I wouldn't want to drive and uh, so that is uh, the conditions that we have better for Christmas and then amazingly uh, we start to get in the 40s 50s and 60s is that not wild that's Oklahoma and that's your nine-day planner we will be right back with sports